from the last game? Yeah, we're going to start the lineup that we started before the other game. Why the switch? No reason. I just like uh, Brandon on uh, Melo more. You know, and I, you know, I actually, again, like I said yesterday, the smaller lineup, the numbers actually say it's better. Uh, but I like our, our defense better the other way. Does the uh, no JR, does that allow you to put Avery a lot more in Felton? Yeah, well, he's been doing that anyway, Murph, yeah. for the most part. So, yes, uh, it does. You guys, much, are you it? questioned out? It's a one o'clock uh, game. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How much yeah. of this is mental? Oh, it's all mental, but they all are. But obviously, uh, when one team's in an elimination situation and the other team is not, it's, it's mental really for both. You know, uh, I'm not going to concern myself with their mental, uh, but with ours, it's, it's, it's all mental. Always is. You're going to watch the first couple of minutes extra close for that reason, Doc, just to get a feel or no? Yeah, but even if it's, let's say you, you love the feel, you still got to do it for 46 more. And if you don't like the feel, yeah, you can react, but you, you have a chance to get them out of it. So, uh, you know, the game will dictate that, obviously. How different are the Knicks without JR? Well, uh, I don't know. I'll let you know after the game. I have a far better idea than I do now. Uh, you know, listen, he's, he's one of their other guys that can create shots, especially in the playoffs. You know, you need a guy, you know, you think about what we've done good in this series is uh, the Knicks are being held 13 points under their, their normal average. So, uh, and J.R. Smith has played well, you know, uh, because in the playoffs you take teams out of their stuff and then it comes down to guys creating shots for themselves and others. Well, Melo does that, Felton has done that, and J.R. Smith does that. Now uh, they don't have one of those guys. Hey, Doc, do you warn these guys again about let's make the extra pass instead of you trying to win it by yourself? Yeah, Jackie, you know, that's always the key in, the, in games like this. It's the same thing in a game seven. There's no difference in a lot of ways is that uh, the team that trusts and stays within themselves, you know, the, the lines stay in your own lane, each, each individual player, those are the teams that win. And the teams that don't, unless they have a Nate Robinson type performance, <laughs> uh, then you, you lose. What's your take on Nate? That was great. It was fun. I mean, I was more happy for Tibbs, <laughs> quite <laughs> honestly, but uh, I was happy for Nate, too. I mean, that's Nate can do that, uh, and he did it. Doc, were you expecting JR to be suspended after? You know, honestly, I, I, it's funny. Uh, I don't know when it happened last night, yesterday, whenever they announced it, one of their coaches came in and said, hey, JR was suspended. I almost had no reaction. I assumed it. I didn't give it any other thought. I actually forgot that he was uh, that they were thinking about it until the coach came in. But I actually, yeah, so the answer would be yes. I kind of assumed that uh, uh, when you saw it uh, on the film, you know, watching the game, yeah.